right? First and foremost, I'm going to say all honor and praises be to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rukar Kadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and Shalom to the sincere chosen elect, man, who, who are, are pushing this truth for the, throughout the four corners of the earth, man. And um, a quick topic I was, I, was, I was thinking about, man, you know, is, 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 is simply this, have mercy on brothers, man. You know, of course, everything in this, in this truth is done in balance, man. If there's a guy in your camp, you know, he comes camp, yeah, oh, shalom. But then he's, he's the guy after camp is, is um, sniffing cocaine, you know, committing adultery, you know. He, he, he comes camp saying, oh, I can't grow a beard. But really, every day he, 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 he gives a clean shave. Of course, that guy is wicked, man. You know, or, or if a guy, he just caused contention among Akim all the time. He punched a brother in the face a week ago, you know, and, and KK came to his house, ate all the chicken, you know. Of course, you don't have mercy in that guy, you know, but... Mm. Busy, man. You know, of course, you know, that, 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 that kind of guy, you obviously don't have no... Mercy on him, man. But the point I want to make is this: you know, in this word and this truth, we go through certain experiences, man. And sometimes, hey, man, you, 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 you might offend, you know, in this truth. The scripture says, "Offenses must come." And one thing that we always need to strive to do. Uh, to understand is that if the man who you see across from you at camp offends you, you you, you need to consider that we individually as men have also offended our heavenly father man and his son, right? You and him are under the curses because you offended the heavenly father man. And who who are you not to have mercy on 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 that person in in reason, right? Of course, who are you to not have any mercy any, any mercy on that person in reason, right? If we ourselves individuals have already offended, man, you know. So this is the the, the first scripture. Is um James uh James <clears throat> two and thirteen it says for he shall have judgment without mercy that had showed no mercy and mercy rejoiceth against the judgment of course we apply we, we primarily you know apply the scripture unto human Esau of course but that spiritually also can apply to us if you have no if, if you if you're the, the the kind of brother right that as soon as a brother does something wrong you, you just you just do a backflip you know yeah brother see I always knew he was wicked no just, just no, no, no form of balance, right? No, no form of balance, man. At all. Ah, oh, yeah, brother. Oh, you're going off. You know, cursing him out, which is of course that that, that is, is a part of it. But then every other day you see him, every week, every week you see him, every month for for five years. Anytime you actually see him, you're like, yeah, brother, because. Do you remember that time when you you, 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 you you did this? Remember that time you was doing that? Every other, any time you see him for the next f f five years, you, you always bring up that 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 time he, he um slipped. Right? The scripture says two is better than one for a reason. If one falls, the other one picks him up. Now, of course, every, that's why we, that's why 
the scripture says, with what I get and get our understanding. I'm not saying you just sit there, you know, you know, and each time my brother grows up, you're like, oh, brother, you know, I know you had Satan in you, Ark. You know, Bubba Gisha, repent, brother, repent. No, sometimes you've you got to curse the brother the fuck out, right? But you know what? If, if he shows a sign of growth and that he shows that he's heard what you have to say, have mercy upon him. Don't 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 always go around the camp, you know, spreading spreading all the you know uh, 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 all, all this kind of of of, of 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 fear and contention, man. You know, oh yeah, you know that, brother, man. Because that time, then a couple of weeks, yeah, bro, a couple of weeks ago, man, I spoke to that brother, and he's still in the same vibe. A month ago, a month after that, a year after that, yeah, bro, I don't know, right? I I think we should take this brother out of the camp, but then. He's clearly showing signs of growth. When it's really... You just hate him, man. You know? If a person has showed a sign of, you know, what changes, he's actually heard what you have to, I'm about to say. You're supposed to, you know, pray for him and yourself that you both still keep keep growing in the faith and doing and doing whatever it takes to hopefully, you know... Be saved, which of course we all we already know that the only way that we can be saved is, is if the Lord have mercy upon us, man. Right. So um, now the very next scripture I'm gonna read is um, the very next um scripture I'm gonna read is um is um let uh. Let me think. Let me think. Um, is um, Sirach twenty and three. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, mate, this is um, Ecclesiasticus in the um in the Apocrypha. Chapter 220 and 3. It says. No, 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 no. I want Sirach 8 and 5 first. Sirach chapter 8 and 5. Reproach. Not a man that turneth from sin, but remember that we are all worthy of punishment, man. Let me read that again. Reproach not a man that turneth from sin, but remember that we are all worthy of a of punishment. Yeah, yeah. Put my cap here. Yeah. And it says, um, reproach not a man that turneth from sin. That's just saying. Um, that turneth from sin, but remember that we are worthy of punishment, man. And it's and it's and it's true, man. You know? Because if you you know if a man, you know, has, has turned from his ways, you know, he, he's he's obviously trying to do do things that's 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 right. I'm trying to do 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 what's right, right? You you, you know, you know that, that, that demon just threw me off, man. Satan. It said, "I'm gonna read it again, man. I'm gonna read it again." Reproach not a man that turneth from sin, but re remember that we all all worthy of punishment, man. You know, because. Yeah, essentially, you know, um, speaking, man, it's like if he he's harking to what you said, man, yeah, and he's actually, you know, done what you, for the spirit, you know, of the Lord ha, ha, had actually told him to actually do, and he's improved on it. You ain't supposed to still hold that spirit of contention against him, man. 
you're not supposed to have have mercy upon him, right? Because it's tr in, in truth, it's like if we don't have mercy on a, a, a brother that's that's offended you, right? Then essentially speaking, man, the Lord ain't gonna have have mercy upon us. This is um. Matthew 18 and uh, 21. Then Peter, then came Peter to, to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother uh, sin against me? And I forgive him. Till seven times? How shall I say unto him? I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven, which is four, four, four hundred and ninety times in a day, man. Now, of course, man, if a brother is just going off, you know, he ain't right, man. But hey, man, but but that point, but but what this point here is trying to trying to um, stress is that hey, you, you, you might have a person in the truth who's of the elect who might offend you more than, than once man but if you take heed unto what you said and he repents have mercy upon him we're on the flesh the scripture clearly does um does uh does say that um that um a just man Fall if seven times and rise if up again, right? And part of that fall could could him could, could, could be him doing stupid, something stu stupid which offends you, right? This is um. Therefore, you know what? I I'm gonna read this whole whole um this whole whole parable, but you know. It's a really deep one because the Lord now ex 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 um, ex explains the, this whole uh, uh, topic I'm, I'm being I'm speaking about into a parable. So if you've got the time, read that. This is um, from Matthew eighteen and twenty one on down, man. Right? Because I because I you know I have to prepare to go um, go camp, man. Uh, this is a uh, Revelation chapter. Three and nineteen. It says, right, Revelation three, three and nineteen. It says, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. And look, the heavenly Father ain't gonna come on earth and tell you, hey, man, you going off? No. The Lord's going to put his spirit upon a man to curse you the fuck out, man. And that's what I'm saying. Everything is done in balance. And I'm saying have mercy on, on brothers. I ain't saying, you know, kumbaya. No, I ain't saying do that. Brother, you know, I know you, I know you didn't mean to do No. Sometimes it's that. Sometimes you curse him the fuck out. Everything is done in balance, man. Because really, it says... Gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Part of that adversity is a brother fucking cursing you out, man. And guess what? You have to eat that, that, that humble pie, man. And really, you know, sometimes Jake said, you know, I'm taking, you know, I have to take the L on this one. Look, man, sometimes you deserve that L, man, because you went off, man. You went off. That's why your ass is getting cursed out, and you have to you have to deal with that, man. You have to deal. See, that's the thing. See how people have become so emotional, man. You, you, Jake, Jake, Jake don't want to ever deal with their own bullshit, man. Some actions that you 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 you, you um do, and 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 some some movements that you, you do is because you haven't dealt with your insecurities, man, and and. and and your shit and all your bullshit that you went through in the world, man. If you don't deal with your bullshit, you can't you can't increase in the spirit. And sometimes 
the um, Lord might might put the fire upon you through a man so that you fucking confront your, your fucking insecurities and all your bullshits, man. Right? So it's, it's, it's part of this word to get cursed out. And it's part of, of, of it to... um. Um, uh, um, and, um, uh, um, uh, uh, and part of it is the Lord having a man curse you out, man. Right? But then it's everything is in balance because if the person who curses you out sees, sees an improvement, he can't just be a prick and still keep keep harping on. Yeah, because that time you went off and that time you went off. See, brother? I die. Oh, hey. No, come on, man. This is um Matthew 6 and 15. Yeah, it says, um, yeah, this is a uh, Matthew 6 and 14. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive them not their trespasses, Neither will your father forgive your trespasses, man. That's right, man. So you have to strive to, to like, literally, hey, as it says, you know, if a man trespasses against you in the faith, but he's still pushing the word and he has repented, you, are, you have to forgive that man, man. And, 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 and that's really just the point, man. You know, because if you don't, have mercy on uh, on a brother. How do you feel? How do you why 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 would the Lord have mercy upon you? The scripture says, if you do anything unto the um, the, the, basically the scripture says um, if you offend any of these who believe in me, like you know, then 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 you know, it's 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 it's, it's better that a, a millstone be tied around your actual neck and you be cast into the sea. And how you can uh, apply that could even be the fact that someone who's of the elect has transgressed against you and he's repented, but you just you just don't want to ever f forgive that man, right? That's like not having mercy on the Lord himself, because guess what? If we are prophets of the Lord and we speak his words, then guess what? His spirit is upon us, man. Now, a question to us is this. Would you act the exact same way to how I shy, man? No, you wouldn't. You know? So so everything is 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 in balance, man. You know? Everything is in balance. It's important to get a rebuke and to 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 rebuke people, but it's also important to have mercy, man. Because a false balance is abomination unto the Lord. If, if a guy's wicked, man, he's committing adultery every week. Yeah, it's a lucky. Yeah, you know, I just slid it. Yeah, you know, brother. Yeah, you know, you know. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, I had to sniff that crack, man. I'm sorry, man. Oh, it's a lot, bro. I, I mean that. You know, that that weed. You no, know, that weed was sprinkled with, with, with some heroin. But you know, brother, apparently gives you a good effect. No, if he, if a guy like that, you better kick his ass out. But then, at the same time, if a brother stepped on your foot and he said, hey, hey, uh, you know, I'm sorry about that. You know, sorry. No, nah, brother. Last week, you did that again. Last week. Hey. Woo. Oh, last week. I, I remember. I, I knew. I knew it was you, man. That, you, you, you made my shoes dirty, brother. You're wicked, bro. And then, you know, and, and then after that, man. You know, you, you you calm down for a bit, and then and then after that, you are like, yeah, man, yo yo, let me take off my garment. No, you're supposed to be like that, man. It's balance, bro. Shit. You know, this is um, Ecclesiasticus twenty and three. How uh, this is um, um, Ecclesiasticus twenty. There is a reproof that is not commonly, and some man, and some and, and 
Again, some man holdeth his tongue, and he is wise. It is much better to reprove than to be angry secretly. And he that confesseth his fault shall be preserved from hurt. That's right, man. That cause there, there there is a reproof that isn't isn't comely, man. Hey, we're, we're in the flesh. This flesh always thinks it's right. You can't you can't you can't tell him in nothing. That's how this that's how that's how this flesh is, man. Hey, but but again, if 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 you're taking that a rebuke and holding your tongue, and guess what, the spirit is on you, man. And he is wise. It is much better to reprove than to be angry secretly. And he that confesseth his fault shall be preserved from hurt. How good is it when thou art reproved to show repentance? For so shall thou escape willful sin. <sighs> That's right, man. That's right, man. And with that, I'm going to end with um, Proverbs 3 and 11. Right? Yeah, man. My, I can't find my apocrypha. At this present time. So I've got to use part of my scriptures that's ripped. This is uh, Proverbs 3 and 11. It says. It says. My son despise not the chastening of the Lord. Neither be wary of his correction. Right. For whom the Lord loveth he corrective even as a father in the son whom he delighteth man that's right and, and the scripture says uh don't don't faint when thou art uh, are approved man you know for for god is tried in the fire and acceptable man in the furnace of uh, adversity man right so so we just gotta keep pushing this word keep doing what, what you know keep doing what we have to um you know do and understand everything is supposed to be done on, on in balance reproof and mercy because if you don't have have mercy on, on on brothers then the lord potentially won't have mercy on you so with that i'm gonna say all honor and praises be to yahweh by shem yahweh shai by shem double honors unto the apostles and elders of great most on with that i'm gonna say shalom